What's going on? It's your boy Lito Takeover. This is the Takeover Files. Listen. Y'all know where we at. They know where we at. Yeah, already so know. We just focus on this camera right here because we got to properly introduce. We got some new family members. Facts, you know Sam, part of the team. I mean. I don't even know how to say her whole name, but it's all good. We family now. And then, you know I mean, I don't know some of my cousin's name for real. For real. <laughs> I don't know some of my cousin's name. It is. Right. We got our long lost cousin. Long <laughs> lost sister. Shot. What's up? What's up, Shot? <laughs> What's going on? Nah, we uh welcome to the family. Oh, hey, thank you. Thank welcome you for having me. Uh, yeah. and, and before we get into everything that you do and, and, and properly introduce you, we got somebody else new face on the camera. Now this dude, they know who this is. You feel me? Because he's usually behind the camera. Everywhere in the world, he in front of the camera. But when he on some takeover tip, he wanted to get behind the camera. <laughs> he acting, he acting crazy. Jack, what up, baby? Hey man, what's going on, what's brother? Up, man, dog? glad to be in front of the camera this time, man. It's uh, I got got some things to get off my chest, man. So I'm I'm glad I'm here, man. Let's let's talk. No, that's a fact. Right. So, so before we do talk, uh, we we going we know what you do, Jab. You feel me? We gonna tell them the people. Well, you're not gonna tell them that you're a singer, that you're an entrepreneur, oh, that you're a director, yeah, that you're a producer. Yeah. You ain't gonna talk your talk. Yeah, I do do a little bit of that. Do a little bit of singing. Do a little bit of producing, man. Do a little bit of directing. Do a little bit of photography. Do a little bit of video directing. A little bit of flexing. Do a little bit of rapping. A little bit of everything. This nigga don't go. This nigga don't rap. Nah, nah, he Yo, did. Freestyle Friday is coming real soon, man. I need to get four bars right now, nigga. Fuck you talking about? Hey, man. Stop Friday. I said. <laughs> Let me tell you something about me. Here with E. Shug Lido Shock Therapy. Hold on. Okay, okay. <laughs> shock Therapy. Well, so like so we're going to let you slide because that was a good couple bars. That was a good bar. Shock. <laughs> Talk to the people. Let them know what you do. Well, I am a singer. I was making music uh, a couple years ago. I took a little bit of a break, but I'm working on my website for um, natural skincare at the moment. And um, yeah, that's just about it. I'll, I do weddings, so hit me up. Yeah, you do weddings? wedding singer. Yeah, oh, that's, okay. that's how I make my money. How is Jeff, you're see, not going to flex. You're hey, not going to yeah, say, "And I do a little bit of wedding listen, singing." Yeah, listen, listen, we might got. I hear you saying that. Partner up with her. <laughs> we might got. I could team. Not I could team. That was a horrible. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> with Bobby and CC. <laughs> Who, who we got right here? David and Tammy? No, that's not David a good Tammy, one. David and Tammy, that's a horrible <laughs> girl, too. No, nah, that's... So, um, look, this, with, this with one... Whitney, Bobby, no. No. What happened to Jay-Z and Beyonce? What happened to them? I, said, I, well, I sing. I sing. You said you rap. You just rap. So he did just rap. He was flexing. He really rap. sang. Sing sound for us. Sing sound real quick. <laughs> Jeb Z. You want me to sing something? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, right, you ain't got to do it. I tried to see what he was coming. So, look, all right. We go. I got a couple icebreaker questions. You feel me? This is gonna be our first official segment, our takeover icebreaker. You feel right. me? And right. it's only right because we got a new cast. You feel me? Uh, we in a new studio, so it's only right that you know what I'm saying we do what we do. First, we gonna go first. Pick a card, any card, shot. Yeah. Read it to the people. Dum, dum, dum. Okay. What emoji is used the most in your phone? Ask person next to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, oh, right. oh, so bang. So what it is. So what emoji do you use the most in your phone? And after you tell us, well, I'm going to let you answer, then I'm going to tell you all the rest. Okay. Um, It would probably be the uh, laughing emoji. The laughing emoji? Mm-hmm. I feel like you should check your phone. I feel like okay, we, yeah, we got. We I feel it. like you gotta look and see. You feel me? Because that's. A, I was just about to say that. Like I think I need to. That, that might be the most used emoji. <laughs> Jabs, I'm gonna tell you she's I'm capping. No, I really. All right. Uh, and okay. Uh, I'm gonna go with the heart. Oh no! It's definitely the heart, John. You don't. You don't get on here fronting. Oh okay. It's the, the heart. heart. Which heart is it? Is it the single heart or is it like the heart? The pink heart with the top little pink heart. It's just a regular the regular hearts. Red heart. Red like, heart. Yeah. So, Jad, why do you feel like that's the most used emoji in her phone? She She's a lover. Gotta be a lover. <laughs> she gotta be a lover, right? Gotta be a lover. Yeah. I literally, I'll wake up and send the heart emojis when, with the, you know, it go all around to, like, all my aunts, my sisters, and, oh, like, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. So, you big on family? Yeah. All right. That's a good job. That's a, All right. So, what does love mean to you now? Um, uh, what does love mean? It just. That's a hard question. Just the way you feel about somebody, like you would do anything for them. I don't know. Nah, I feel, hey, listen, you got a lot of love in your heart. <laughs> yeah. That was just tough. Y'all just broke her down off of emoji. 
Oh, it's like that. It's like that. Facts. Damn, let's get right. Oh, man, here we go. What motivates you to keep going? Okay. It's 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 them kids, man. Mm-hmm. Mm. Even when I'm down in the dumps, I just think of my kids. I look at a picture of my kids. I call and talk to my kids, and everything seems better after that. It's, it's those those four little people who love and adore me that just keep me going. Four. They're four. <laughs> oh, that was whew. And they all small, so they like back to back. Oh yeah, so once you start, I feel like that's how I'm gonna be. You feel me? Like right now, I don't got none, but I feel like once I start, I'm gonna go from zero to probably like eight. Yeah, like yeah. The next, her next eight years is over. No, 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 no more clubbing. Everything. No more clubbing for her. E. Was in. Dog, what's up with this shit? What was it? <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of your favorite ex? Uh-oh. That was crazy. Yo, why the hey. fuck? Why my exes keep getting brought up? <laughs> I feel like that's a sign that I some like closure like that needs to be time. done. This was random. I did that to myself. Uh, you said, what is what? What is the name? The name? You heard Damn, the name. <laughs> right. The name. Uh, Can I give you a nickname? What y'all think? We got delegate. What y'all think? Can I give you the name cool. that he I called it? Nobody. Yeah. yeah, nickname is cool. Yeah. Big. Oh, you was a nut. <laughs> you was a car ball for that. He got. I feel like they he's all gonna call me tonight. You was talking about me, babe. Uh, <laughs> and that's the clip. That's the clip. <laughs> I guess I'll go. Ah, are you in love? Damn. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and lie. I'm not in love. <laughs> Why I have love for people. I'm not in love though. No, I'm not in love. Okay. That's Why fair. you? He's that's a nut. Yeah, I'm not in love. He is a love. He's a cuff daddy. He's a lover boy. I feel like, all right, as my uncle would say, I function better in relationships. That's only because, all right, y'all want to know the truth? I don't like condoms. You feel me? And I ain't be trying to be out here hitting everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I, you know I mean? In my life, I had a lot of fun. Where I'm at in the past six years, I just rather have relationships and build. You know what I'm saying? So, fair that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stand on mine. So the last one, pick a number. Both of y'all, one out of Should we between one and five. Seven. Two. I said, but. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it it got to go to her. That's a disqualification. <laughs> no, no, no. Nah, you about to be the dude. <laughs> that, that is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> Niggas be like, what? <laughs> um, uh, What did you name your first car? Did you name your first car? I did, but I can't remember the name. Oh, uh, you ain't love her, right? I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. How long? You how long you had it for? I had it for like a year. Oh yeah, you ain't I, love her, I, right? I, I like paid like a thousand dollars for it. What was it? Uh, it was like a nineteen ninety nine Acura. <laughs> like two. What year was it? She said ninety nine. No, what year was like? Was it that you bought the car? Oh, I was young. I don't even think I was old enough to drink. Cause oh, if, if you a teenager with a ninety nine back in them days, like you doing all right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you are right. it was better than my shit. My, I was the same age as my first car. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Think about Look, that. Yeah, my first car. Me was older my first car was the same age. Dang, so you had a ninety two what? Oh no, no, no I'm lying. You had yeah. a ninety. Oh yeah, yeah, I had a ninety Volvo. You had a ninety Volvo. That bitch was pushing tank. Grab Volvos. Gray. Uh. Bro, look, I had to crank sunroof and everything. Oh, yeah. That shit was tough. You I wasn't was living you? down there. I had Ruby Riviera, man. That oh, was no, my baby. I'm lying. I lied. What you lie about? Don't oh, come on here lying. For, no, I forgot. Cause my first car, somebody bought it for me. It, it was my like my first boyfriend. He bought. He it bought you a car. He bought me a car, Flex. and he bought me um, a Mitsubishi Eclipse convertible. So I called it the Spider, cause that's what it was. Man, who the fuck was you there? I wish you would have got that favorite. What's the name X-Corn? of your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> right. He wasn't my favorite. He, he wasn't your favorite. Got her to D Mitch. Man, I feel like that just shifted the whole episode right there. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. Sound ungrateful. You gotta step our that game nigga up. bought you a car. They buying cars so, right. out here. So all right, nah, why, why he, wasn't he, he still your favorite? favorite? Like what? <laughs> Um, you know, I, we were young, and when I was ready to break up, he just didn't want to. He was really clingy, so yeah, that I didn't like that. I've, yeah, that was it. How you feel about that, Jack? 
Yo, if I buy you a car, <laughs> I'm allowed yeah, to be exactly clingy. Like, I'm hey, allowed man. to be clingy. Like, you better, man. But your car for a reason. You better be pulling up <laughs> on it. Bring your you ass over here. <laughs> so I, I know you was pulling up on it. Uh, no. <laughs> That's Bull out there, you a... He's a, he bought you a car with a low jack. That would be what we would call these days. Would that is that simpish behavior? Well, we were. I guess it could be. Nah, it ain't no is. could. I don't want to do him like because I don't want to do him like that. I feel that. Like, <laughs> you don't release too much information. He know you talking about him now. Like <laughs> she's well, saying, we were young. I got her that Mitsubishi. <laughs> he probably telling his homies like, man, we got dope man. I'm a hard Mitsubishi when we was like sixteen. I'm in there. They already know. <laughs> No, nah, that's a shit. so so <laughs> so uh, real quick, y'all. Uh, uh, Jack, yeah. Matter of fact, before we get to that, we're gonna go to our sponsors, all right? Because this episode is brought to you by Yams, Young Ambitious <laughs> Mind Incorporated. Ae, tell us what you got coming up with this next line. I tell you one thing, I ain't got no cars on the line yet, yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I ain't there yet. That's, uh, that shit just running through my head. Right now, you already know it's cold out, but it is that time of season, spring. So we got some new windbreakers coming out. These drones padded and everything. This, I mean, this the thicker joint, but we got some pullovers coming through. Just basically the shells. Got the nice little kangaroo pouch for you. Uh, three colors right now. We dropping in camo, navy, gray. Mm. Watch out for them drones. And that's the message from our sponsors, Yam Young Ambitious Minds Incorporated. Y'all saw that picture with uh with Russell and Sierra at the Vanity? What's that? The Vanity Fair? Yeah. Did y'all see it? Yeah. I've seen that joint. Yeah. How, y- how y'all feel about that? <laughs> like, I'm, all right, so look, I'm gonna start off. I'm the type of dude, right? If my girl look good, well, of course my girl look good. You feel me? My girl look good. I'm gonna show, I want to show her off. That's why they say I'm a lover boy because I'm gonna post you on the gram. I'm gonna do all that story. You yeah. feel me? And we gonna go out. And her body, you know what I'm saying. If her body body and then she leaving with me at the end of the night. How how y'all feel about that? I mean, all right, I can understand both sides of the coin. One might not want like that much showing. Yeah, she 37 and look good, but she might not want all of the, the whole 37 showing. But at the same time for me, it is just about levels. Like, bro, we millionaires. Like, we at this event. We about to show out. Throw that shit on, baby. You know what I mean? They about to talk about this. Russ looks sick in that picture, though. I don't know if that he was probably- a bad picture. <laughs> 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 we got to see some footage of him, like, throughout that he whole walk. That nigga wasn't that even looking. Too. He was like. <laughs> it is what it is, though. I mean, I don't know. I see both sides of the coin. How you feel about it? When I saw the picture, I seen it on the shade room, and they had, like, her. Nipples uh, covered up with like black heart emoji. So I, w- I wasn't sure if the nipples was out. I ain't seen nothing. I feel out. like the nipples was out. I feel like the in, a, in a way. I don't think she was on no like. Yeah, but I think it was. It was I ain't seen no nips. Where, like, you can see where the, but you can't really make out what's under there. All right. So, yeah, I mean, get to, you yeah. see what it is. Stop staring. You're trying to see the nipples. I mean, leave it alone. It is what it is. I mean, I feel like it's uh, 100% completely acceptable. Especially if he right there, her husband right there. If he had a problem with it, he should have said something for it. He, he, he looking for it. <laughs> Every picture I'm looking at, he look like he got a problem with it. This is a whole different, <laughs> this is a whole different picture, y'all. Like, like, look, I don't know. He said, I'm just here to take pictures. I'm just here to, um, so I'll get fine. <laughs> Is just posing. We're gonna find another one. But I mean, you already hey, know. Hey, it's, y'all, y'all, done, y'all, y'all said y'all be. <laughs> nah, all, right, all right, we know what you gonna say. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna keep it real, man. It's like keep it the jet. Russell Wilson portrays himself as a God fearing man. Yeah, I mean, you see pictures of him and Sierra in the church. He that took you know her children in from her previous engagement, and he lives his life a certain way. No God fearing man in the church wants his woman in nothing but a G string at a vanity fair. Now, granted, the covering was, she did have a covering, but it was sheer, it was see through. It wasn't nothing left to the imagination. When you marry, it's something called exclusivity, where your wife is exclusive to you. Like, his wife didn't look exclusive to him, she looked like she was available. But, I mean, <clears throat> they had an event, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you, so your girl can look available at an event. 
No, nah, I ain't saying all that now. Don't don't put my girl in this. We talk about millionaires. But availability is subject. <laughs> like you thinking she look available. Like somebody else might see her with her man, and not think that's available. Like damn, they look good. Like what's yeah. what's wrong with that? Because if they at the beach, like time it, and place, shot time and place. Exactly, the now, Grammys. That's a time and place to show the fuck out. Right. That was the Grammys, time to right? Be naked. <laughs> she wasn't that celebrities being that that's what they Alright, can we give props to the dress? It was a banging dress, wasn't it? We all talking about this and that. Like what? it was a piece right, of it was a piece of art that she was, was rocking. Dress? It looked like one of oh, it it like the like, like, like like her one body, one. so she wasn't naked. Like. Ah, yeah, that's a that's a great point. Her gloves look nice. You call it, you call it. Yeah, hair go to back. Those are some nice gloves. Hair go to back. That's a cover up. I mean, it is what it is. It looked nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but the gloves look nice. It's, it's socially acceptable now, and I feel like, like I said, if he didn't like it, he should have said something before he walked out the house. Shock, if he's such he a god really fearing me, <laughs> he looked really disturbed. <laughs> he hurt. I bet Future called her that he, night. He cried in the car. <laughs> I bet Future it. called Sierra that night. All right, so that, at least the DMs. He said, "Lovely." <laughs> Where we at? We at New Game Studios, y'all. Shout New out game. to my guy, Cloud. New Game Studios, one of the best creative hubs. And not only Delco, but it's looking like right now the tri-state area because you can find them on Peer Space. You can find them on a bunch of different apps. And let me tell you what they got. Right now, we created our own podcast area, but if you want something more standard, they got a podcast room in the back already set up, microphones, desks, everything. We got a stage over here for, for rehearsals, performances, they done had paint shops, open mics, uh, paint and sips. So make sure y'all come holler at my guy, Cloud, at New Game Studios right here in the county with it. Tell them TakeOver Central. You might get y'all a little, a little discount. You, know right. you you put a post up the other day, right? We're going Because you could kind of tie this into the other one. Yeah. Now, you put a post up saying, fellas, if she don't have a ring, shoot your shot. That's a fact. That's a fact. If, if she not married... Can shoot your shot. You gonna get somebody killed, shot. bro? <laughs> Why, bro? If a dude, if a dude would kill me over a woman he won't even marry, that's sick. <laughs> he's sick in the head, not me, bro. His niggas gonna kill you for way less than that, that's bro. Like, what are you talking You're about? Right. <laughs> over, and that's it's still, a lot that's, of sick people out here. So don't problem. tell not people. Minds. Was bro, that, you jumping in the way of a sick person. Don't do that. But even if they not sick, bro, it's just like. <laughs> It's just like, I don't know. I, I I believe if somebody's in a relationship, they're in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, n- now I believe that. You feel me? You don't need to be dipping where other people at. You feel me? Because now that's causing extra unnecessary problems. You know what I'm saying? Unnecessary. So, so every time y'all meet a woman, y'all must ask if they single or not. I know I don't. Nah, if she talking that's to me, she, she, she's just single riding, enough. And matter of fact. Guys, don't ever tell her. Don't ever ask a woman if she's single. If y'all talking to y'all vibing, that's up to her. Yeah, that's unnecessary. Yeah, that's up to her to tell you if she's dealing with somebody or not. That's not your responsibility. All right, but what you saying? If you know though, you saying if like if you know she's dealing with a nigga, they not married. I'm shooting my shot. I ain't gonna hold like, you. It's, it's it's chicks out here that's kind of giving you power to say that because a lot of chicks be saying that too. Like I'm single until there's a ring on it. And they'd be that, like, that damn, sure. Nah, because what about the whole building phase? Ain't it like you're not just jumping straight to the ring? That's cool. Like, and don't and I got to know? And anybody that you building with, she ain't going to entertain me. Right. If I shoot my shot, she ain't going to entertain me. Mm-hmm. She only going to entertain you if, if it's not what she wants to be. Out of, out of like, respect. Well, the, the ring tells tell me you? not to even engage. That's that's me personally. If I see a ring, I'm be like, all right, she off. she's spoken for. Is that how that's you what the ring means. Uh, nah, I mean, if I see her ring, I'm definitely not going to holler at her. But if I know she fucking with somebody, I'm not going to be like, oh, well, I ain't seen no ring. Like, nah, man, if I know she involved, I mean. If she dealing with one of your homies. Nah, it ain't got to be a <laughs> homie. It ain't got to be a nigga I know. But if she just say, I'm dealing with somebody, you not with a I'm done. Said, I'm like, not about to, oh, all right, well, how much you really like me. <laughs> <man?" laughs> nah, I will never. That's the word. Yo, nigga. That, you should have added that in. Do not, when she says okay. she's taken, do not ask to be friends. Chicks, some of y'all still fall for that shit. You on your own for that one. I they feel, still be out here. No, nah, he, we just friends. Bitch. No. Uh, we, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what you guys It's a whole I different. Ain't, I ain't gonna lie, that's, 
sometimes I bought this little uh, fifteen dollar uh, engagement ring off Amazon just to wear it on my finger so that people won't talk to me. Oh yeah, that's a little trick. Yeah. yeah. And um, it's the only way that you know men will leave me alone because I I've tried everything. I'm gay. I'm pregnant. I'm this. I'm that. I'm crazy. They don't care. <laughs> that's so, not crazy, I'm, bro. I'm you can't say you gay. But Niggas are like that. Yeah. I'm in, a, I'm in a relationship. So would you just flash it or it's just like a they don't even say nothing. They just they don't peak. even say nothing. Like, um, they'll look at it and then they just walk away. If they didn't notice it and they approach me and then they see it, they like, oh, I'm sorry, you know, I is I don't have to speak too much about nothing. They not they don't ask no questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a whole trick. Like, old hood told me that back in the day. I ain't gonna lie, you got me. Now I'm getting all my girlfriends' promise rings from for now on. That's fair. Everybody That's getting fair. promise rings. Move That's on. something. No, not oh, everybody. No, <laughs> why you just do that? Dang. Got it. I don't have any girlfriends. <laughs> Moving forward, if I have a girlfriend, I'm getting you a promise ring on day one because of this. You feel me? Because nah, I don't play that shit. I ain't. I mean, how? And he don't. Trust me. <laughs> I don't play that shit. <laughs> I know this man so my whole life. <laughs> it's temporary. I'm more, I'm more of an intense. He a rundown. Nah, yeah, yeah. If I want you, I'm a rundown. Like, my, listen, I, my, I was in a relationship with a married woman. She was separated, but she was still married until she was divorced. You hey, feel for me? me, that's the... That's still tricky territory right there. No, that was definitely some tricky shit. That was some that was some tricky I ain't shit. Fucking with it. No matter what. Did you think the juice ain't worth the squeeze on that one? Not for me. I like that. The juice ain't worth the squeeze. That's that an old John. That's what Lugo said, right? Lugo said that? I said it's from somewhere. I don't know. So you call it Lizzo up. and try to act like he's nah, nigga Lizzo quoting somebody else. That was on Friday or something. I don't know. <laughs> but nah, I mean, how y'all feel like all right. I don't want to get into this, you feel me? Because that's a cool Lizzo that's out a here. Crazy you feel me? But I don't know. I definitely have my phase where it's like, all right, you sink. You're not with nobody. Now, that's, I feel like, is that the balance, not being with somebody? Like, you don't ask. It's not your responsibility. No, I'm definitely asking. I them. agree with that. Yeah, I'm not asking. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, we talk, yeah, I'm asking. If she's she, giving me she feedback, should. she's single enough. Yeah. But all right, so I'm going to ask because that's how I'm going to know how to play you, how to carry you. Nope. So she if you tell me you got a nigga and you still want some shit, all right, well, because you might trick me. I might not ask, and you might be the best shit in the world, and I might fall in love. But and that's a reflection of you, though, because do you really want people in your space that just out do reckless shit? Like, sir, can I curse you? Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, do that. Because that's kind of uh, reckless. Uh, like, and I don't want people in my space that don't make, you know, uh, mature decisions. So I'd be like, ew. If you tell me, like, oh, yeah, I got a girlfriend, and then, but you still want to talk to me, I'm going to be like, ew. That's gross. I feel like yes. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely different with men and women on that. Men and women on that though, because like depending on where the man at in life, you feel me, his stage, his age, you feel me. It shouldn't be though. Nah, because if I'm 25 year old me, you gotta you got a nigga. All right, cool. That's you true. Text different, me. I'm different not gonna text age, you. Younger when age. Yeah. Pull up, you know what I'm saying, but 30 year old me, okay. uh, I'm cool. I'm all right. You it's have a good day. For the, it's the same for the women too, because they young women they don't they don't be shit. No, that's <laughs> you got I guess it's you heard it here first. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> Tell us about a young shot. Young shot. Tell us about a young shot, bro. Listen, the nigga that got in the car, not the favorite. You know what I mean, listen, I just want to hear about a young <laughs> shot. <laughs> you know <it's> the story. <laughs> um, uh, I wasn't that bad. I wasn't like you know. I heard some stories. No judgment. No yeah. judgment on. But um. I guess I was just a heartbreaker. Like, uh, I'm just a runner on a track scar, like, you know? <laughs> like, I Bro. just, I didn't really want to stay too long with anybody. So it was like a for the moment type of thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, did that ever change? It's it's changing. It's changing. It's changing. I, I, I respect change. the shit out of that. Yeah. I'm in the process. Good, good job. <laughs> No, that's definitely a good job. Uh, before we do get out of here, y'all, uh, real quick, make sure y'all check out Education for the Soul. We just had an amazing episode, GB Blackwell. Uh, we have myself coming on next. You know, we got your host, E. Shields, director, Jab, and our other host, Floyd. They killing it. Um, tune in each and every drop. Because you never know when they drop them things. just going to start dropping. And follow us on Instagram, Education for the Soul. Education, the number four, right? Education number four. Oh. The soul. Great job. All right, so look, this is what we're going to do before we get out of here, all right? 
Now it's only right that we bring this back up because we got to get their opinions with this thorough or not thorough. <laughs> and this for both of you, all right? Thorough or not thorough. You fighting, right? You outside, you run into a bunch of girls, you get jumped while you're on a date with your man. Is it thorough for him to jump in and start beating chicks? Like, just start oh, punching? Absolutely. Stop. And if he didn't, um, we wouldn't be dating anymore. So if it was a one-on-one, what you want him to do? It's the girl getting and the best I'm of losing, you. Yeah. I'm not going to lose. I, <laughs> I, I'm not, this question is unrealistic for me. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Talk your shit. We got Layla Shock Lee, nigga. No, 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 Shock no, Mayweather. No, no. I have, uh, like. <laughs> oh, so you. Sh- yeah. Yeah, Who I'm not you? fighting nobody. I literally. Well, say less. Yeah. My nose ain't done today, but they always. <laughs> and I, like, I'm a pretty girl. Like, I get, I go. So you don't get none of that. $900. I'm not letting nobody touch me. No, that's a, listen. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> what about you, Jack? If your girl fighting, she can jump. How you carry it? I am typically not a fighter. Uh, <laughs> I could not watch my woman get ran down on. Like it's just Period. not gonna happen. I'm definitely choke slamming every You gonna go under take her up? Oh no, know, Jay. Jay. Damn, I don't, I don't oh, no, Jay. Too big to be choke slamming chicks, first of all. I bet I bet they leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got right, Jeff thinking about the half. What was the one on one? And she, she losing. Getting yeah, she getting treated like Nah, I can't, listen. Can break it up. Yeah, I could break it up. I could break it up. You gonna break it up? I'm gonna break it up. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, get my jump, my little little hits in. But <laughs> now you gotta grab her shit, break it up, get her, baby, get her. You feel yeah. me? Grip one of them jaws. <laughs> get your hits in, girl. She just get your. You see her face? It was there. It, what was the other throw? Not throw. <laughs> All right, thorough, not thorough. What was it? If you had, if you had to choose, had to choose your significant other. Would you rather them cheat on you with a close friend or your mortal enemy? The op or the best friend? Yeah. He cheated. Would you rather him cheat on you with your best friend (laughs) or with... Your biggest enemy, the op. One of the chicks that was jumping. This is for both of y'all. Dang, you know what? Both of them kind of got like different pros and cons. Because if like he cheated on, if he cheated on me with my best friend, then now he could just get passed around. Like it's like okay, well, because I'm not, I'm not dealing with you know, like no man that's not you know provide and so I'm like okay, well that's what he was on now. Nice. He probably would tell me. Before she did it, and you know, now you can go shopping. That's it. Oh, so that's fair game. Yeah. Oh shit. So, okay. so she with you then? You talk about yeah. He's not even in, like he's not the even video. in a bad position. Like he like <laughs> yeah, send me the oh, video, no, run it up. I know. I just know where you know what where it is, and I'm and I'm I'm done with it. But um, I'm glad she got to go shopping. You know, that's my best friend, and um. <laughs> Nah, but that's a hard ass answer, bro. That was hard. We gonna start this. Nigga. Let me finish. What you say? I mean, but if it was the ops, I think I would be mad. It's like I don't want them going shopping. You know? <laughs> 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 uh, you don't want you bitches to be fly. Yeah. I'm lie. I'm with her on that. That's, <laughs> a, that's, nah, a lot of that's like, hard. <laughs> <laughs> like. Let it be my whole life. Like, yo, that drill was some kill, wasn't it? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I honestly rather be my homie. Y'all know me. So we gonna set her up. You feel me? That sounds. Once again, I'm the only guy. New perspective. That only is. guy I thinking. Like yeah, that was, I like that one. Nah, I rather if you gonna cheat on me, cheat on me with somebody I already don't fuck with. If you gonna cheat on me with my man's. Now nah, I don't fuck with my mans. I don't fuck with you, and I don't fuck with the opposite. Even if he told it you, it's like there's three you people. Because you don't want people like uh, that's in your circle that's going to do that anyway. Now he's not going to do that because she's going to fuck the op, and then me and my homie going to handle that. And then it's not even handle that because yeah, not hypothetically. Who speaking. is he? <laughs> nah, just whatever. <laughs> hold, hold on. But hold nah, on. it's, it's like I would rather like not have to lose a best friend. I would rather her already fuck with somebody I don't fuck with. Mm. All right, check this out. You wouldn't lose your best friend. You would probably dismiss the chick 
But you 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 both you of them dismissed. No, nigga, because it's it's deeper than pussy with that. If you take something that's mine, like nigga, you stepping on my infringement. That's a relationship me and you got that you fucking up. Was y'all married? Get this nigga out of here, bro. Hey, yo, look, <laughs> hey, yo this is the episode of the Takeover Files podcast. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. We'll see y'all next week. <laughs>